This is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in Northern Henrico. Today we're going to take a look at a five-bedroom, two-bath raised ranch. This home is in an interesting street. We've got a combination of different housing styles. Uh, we've got another raised ranch, a regular ranch on the other side. We have some older brick capes, uh, vinyl capes, and uh, more traditional uh, 70s ranch. So. A uh, nice mixture here in the neighborhood. The thing that attracted me to this home was our bedroom count. We've got five bedrooms in this home, which is a great value considering that we're coming in under 300000 Special thanks to Kia Towns in my office for allowing us to come in and take a look at her listing. Uh, I was just at a real estate convention a couple weeks ago. And at the convention, it's, it's a great opportunity because we have a chance to talk to other professionals in the business. I was honored to be chosen to be on a panel of successful agents uh, talking about uh, how to win multiple offers. That's something that uh, we definitely have worked hard to do and was happy to share that information with other agents across the country. One of the great things about the convention was also to learn about new and interesting loan products. Loan products are key, obviously, in real estate because there are some situations where traditional lending just simply does not work. And uh, I use the investment property as an example. Right now, traditional lenders are doing an awful job of doing investment property financing. The down payment is huge. Uh, they want you to jump through so many hoops, and uh, it's just not an attractive lending environment for uh, buyers. There are companies that have come about in the last several years that overlook many of the things that traditional lenders look at as far as qualifying buyers. And as a result, it makes it much easier to get into a property. Uh, this property, for example, could be uh, potentially a good investment for a investor that's looking for a high occupancy. Um, if you are familiar with rental property, you know that the more bedrooms, typically the more rent you get. And of course, a five bedroom is needed by some families and uh, it would definitely go for a premium. That combined with attractive down payments and the appreciation that we've been seeing here lately, it makes it a much smarter investment for a lot of people than just simply putting money in a money market or a savings account and having it give a paltry 1% if that much uh, in return as far as interest goes. So definitely something to think about in terms of investing. There's so many ways to invest in real estate. Rental property is just one of many. Okay, we're gonna go on in and take a look at this home. I've been in this type of home uh, many times before and the downstairs is always different depending on how they configured it. Sometimes there will be just two bedrooms, sometimes there'll be more. Uh, so it's interesting to see uh, what they've done in each particular situation. Of course, we have the chance to go down or up. We're gonna go down and see what we have down here on the first level. Our carpet appears to be relatively new. Paint appears to be new as well. And this is going to be bedroom number one. We're of course on the front of the house. This is one of the larger bedrooms. All of these are traditional bedrooms in regard to having closets. Uh, once we get into some of the older neighborhoods, we do see homes that uh, sometimes don't have closets. And this one definitely has them in each room. This would be a common space down here on the first floor. A sliding door going out to the rear. I didn't mention back there, we've got a deck that's all the way at the back. That, that's an interesting placement for the deck. You could. Uh, have a get together and do everything back there. You can make it a bandstand and uh, invite the whole neighborhood. Many, many options. Our laundry, of course, right here. And we can see that our heating air unit uh, is there, but it's gonna be accessed through a different door. And that door is right here. This unit does look like it's relatively new uh, as well. You can look at that nice paint job and tell uh, that unit has not been there very long. All right, here to the right is going to be our downstairs full bath. We have LVP on the floor, a uh, nice gray and white color scheme, fiberglass tub shower enclosure, linen closet right here, convenient to the 
bathroom and then this is going to be bedroom number two now this is a little bit more conservative here you could probably uh, get a full-size bed in here uh, or a twin our closet is in the corner right there and then to the right is going to be a third bedroom there are some buyers that are actually looking for properties that they would use for uh, situations such as uh, caring for uh, the disabled or for the elderly uh, or for youth. And uh, these high bedroom counts uh, often work well as far as the numbers uh, for those types of uses. Uh, an investor could simply buy a home and then seek out one of those uh, small businesses and rent to the small business. And then that way you, you don't have the issues that you would necessarily have sometimes with a, a more traditional uh, type of tenant. Okay, we are here, our upstairs family room. Recessed lights, nice wide open space. Once again, our carpet looks great. And this is, of course, open to our dining area, which is directly in the middle of the frame. LVP is in the kitchen. Your dinette would go right here under this light fixture. And our slider going off to the back. Let's take a look back here and see what we have. As you can see, we are up pretty high. Uh, I did not have the key to the storage unit, but you do have some additional storage back there. And a good sized lot. Uh, you could easily fence this in back here uh, if desired. All right, let's go back in and see what we have remaining on this level. I appreciate all the feedback I hear from some of my viewers. Uh, every time I post, it's good to see that you're doing well and um, hopefully enjoying the content that I'm providing. We're going to make a left here and go down our hallway, our linen closet, actually coat closet, right here at the top of the steps. And then to the left is going to be our hall bath on the second level. This uh, floor plan was very, very popular at one point in time. A lot of people like it because you get a lot of square footage and bedroom count in many cases for the money. And uh, so I know uh, some of you watching probably grew up in a home in this style. Okay, here to the left is going to be bedroom number four. This is a conservative bedroom as well. Probably a twin size bed in here would be ideal or a nursery or a home office. This one does have a deep closet though. We've got a little bit of depth here to this closet. Good storage space. And now I'm gonna take you into bedroom number five. And here it is right here. This is probably, oh, it is the largest bedroom here on the uh, top level. So we're going to consider this the primary because we have also two closets. We've got one right here and then we have another closet right here. Nice and handy. So if there were two people here in this bedroom, they would not have to fight and it would be a nice harmonious situation. All right. So a great amount of space here in a beautiful Henrico County. Uh, the home is moving ready under 300,000 and uh, I just really like the space that uh, this one provides. I know some people have to have uh, that high bedroom count and this home would definitely provide it. If you have any questions about this or any other home in the market, my name is Max Williams. It would be an honor for me to help. I can be reached on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.